This video is for students who are using Google Classroom. In this video, we're going to take a look at the three different post types your teachers may be using in Google Classroom. Now, it's always best to check with your teacher about specific directions and how to handle a specific assignments, but this is just going to give you a general overview of the posts that they could be making in Google Classroom. So we're going to click on the Classwork tab. And the first thing we're going to look at are the topics. So topics are a way for teachers to organize posts for you. And my teacher in this class is organizing based on the week. So we're going to look at the week of April 20th and look at these different posts. So you can see there's different icons in front of each of these different post types. Each of these indicates something a little bit different. So this first one, you see that it's kind of like a book with a bookmark. That is called a material. Notice that this is grayed out and these other icons are dark. This this means a material is something your teacher wants you to have access to, but it's not something that you have to turn in. So when we click on this, we'll see the option to view this material. So I always recommend that you click on those links when you see them. So here we're going to explore the Fibonacci sequence. We need to read the Wonderopolis article and uh, watch the video. So here's the article, here's the video. So all we need to do is read this article, watch this video. There's nothing that we need to turn in because this is a material, something we need to access but not turn in. Let's go back to the Classwork tab. The next item that we have under the week of April 20, 20th is a question. Notice the question mark indicates a question. Notice how this is dark gray, whereas this was light gray, and it might be a different color for you, but it's dark. That means we need to do something with this. We have to actually turn this in or submit this in some way. So we're going to go ahead and click on that question. Notice it tells us to click view question. Anytime you have view question, view assignment, view material, go ahead and click that option. When we see, when we click view question, we're going to see that this is a multiple choice question. Our teacher has given us four different options to answer this question. The Fibonacci sequence looks like this. Um, so we're going to choose one of our options and notice that when we choose an option, the turn in button becomes dark, which means we can click on it and turn it in. Very important in Google Classroom that you are turning in, submitting, marking as done so that your teacher knows that you've done that activity. Click turn in. And then we'll see that this um, assignment has been turned in. If we go back to the Classwork tab, we will also see that now this icon is grayed out. That tells us that we have turned that assignment in. We also see turned in right here. Let's keep on going. Here's another question. Let's click on that. Question, click View Question. Notice that it's a, a short answer question this time. So what kinds of things can the numbers in the Fibonacci sequence represent? We're going to type our answer right over here. After we type in our answer, the turn in button gets dark and that means we can click on it. it. Tells us we won't be able to make changes. Click turn in and that will tell our teacher that we have turned in this particular assignment. Go back to the Classwork tab. Let's see what else we have. Notice again, it's grayed out. Tells us that we've done it. Keep on going. Now we have a clipboard. These clipboards represent assignments. So there could be a lot of different things here. So let's click on this first one. And notice it says view assignment. We'll go ahead and click on that. Click the quiz below and answer the question. So this is a Google Forms quiz. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and select the correct answers or which answers we believe to be correct. We're going to hit submit. Now in this case, the teacher has given you the ability to see your score right away. Sometimes you might not get that. So if we go back to Classroom, now for a quiz, there's nothing that we need to do. As soon as we hit submit on the Google Forms quiz, it will turn that in for us. So we don't even have to do anything in Google Classroom for that. Notice how that icon has become grayed out. That means we've done it. Let's click on the next assignment. Again, this clipboard indicates an assignment. Okay, we're going to click view assignment. So we are making sure that we see the whole thing. It says open the Google Slideshow link below, follow the directions on slide one, click mark as done when you have added your slide. So we're going to open the slideshow. It tells us we need to create a new slide and add our name in the title slide. So we will go ahead and add a new slide. I'm going to put my name in the title slide or in the title. And then I'm going to follow the directions to fill in the rest of this information. When I am done, I'm going to come back to Google Classroom and I'm going to click Mark as Done to tell the teacher that I have indeed done that assignment. Okay? Rachel still needs to do her picture, so she's not going to mark it as done quite yet. Let's go back to the Classwork tab. Okay? Now remember, we didn't turn that one in, so that still stays dark to remind us that we need to turn that in. All right, let's look at this last assignment in this group. And it says click View Assignment, so we're going to open
open that assignment up. This tells us to go outside, find an example, take a picture, and attach the picture to the assignment. Where do you attach that picture? Right here in the Your Work area. If I click Add or Create, I can attach something in Google Drive. So if I save the picture in Drive, I'm going to go to Google Drive and find it there. Or maybe I saved it in the camera roll of my phone, in which case I'm going to use File and search my phone to find the picture. And then when I am done, I am going to um, use the private comment area of this assignment to explain why your picture represents a Fibonacci sequence. Right here is the private comment area. Private comments are private between you and the teacher. So when you type something in here, only the teacher is going to see this. So when uh, after you have attached your picture, this button will say turn in. When you've made your private comment, you'll go ahead and send that or post that to the teacher. Then this assignment will be completed. So again, there's different types of posts in Google Classroom. And depending on the teacher, your teacher may use some of these or all of these. We have material, we have a question, and we have an assignment.